Speaking of wiggling your tails, I've got a mostly purry and furry, but could be frisky and risky wild animal. But I love delivering Dharma talks with wild animal on me. It keeps me uh, in the moment. Anyway, happy Thursday. I hope you found some interest in the topic this week. And I hope you don't think I'm a crackpot by suggesting intelligent design. I'm not suggesting the earth is 6,000 years old or that dinosaurs didn't exist. I have the greatest respect and admiration for the genius of science and uh, astrophysics, chemistry, biology, evolution. These are all, to me, signs of staggering and astonishing intelligence working at every level of our existence. And it only makes sense to me that all those branches or subsets of intelligence would emerge from a the greatest possible int intelligence, which for me, I have no problem saying God, but I also have no problem calling it source or creator or being or infinite higher organizing principle, IHOP for short, you know me. So I make suggestions and we can all believe what we currently believe and we're all available for upgrades. But this whole conversation of the week was leading to today's topic, which is if you accept that the universe is intelligently designed and you're a component of the universe, then you are intelligently designed. You might say to yourself inside, you might close your eyes for a moment and say to yourself, I am intelligently designed. I am an intelligent design of the universe. Now, appearances to the contrary. Maybe it seems as though our current expression or demonstration in our life is not always intelligent, it's not always optimal. But I want to lead to the pinnacle of the theme of this week, and it's something called True Place. And I'm, I'm going to give credit where credit is due to a great spiritual teacher, Emmett Fox, in one of his chapters in Power Through Constructive Thinking, where he, he talks about True Place. And True Place is where all of our God-given source given attributes skills abilities and talents are put into full expression and full demonstration to be a light in the world and to bring the greatest love light and joy to ourselves and equally to everyone around us in radiating concentric outward circles of love light and truth and this is simply what we're here to do now if we're not in true place yet there's a sense of misalignment going on inside of us. There's a sense there's so much more available. And yet true place is seems to be a progression. It's not often people go from absolutely not in true place to absolutely being in true place all at once. There are records of it in human history, but maybe it's like one in a billion. Most of us are living what we might call the uh, educational variety of getting to true place but we are getting there. And the best words that I've ever seen constructed uh, are the following in a different chapter by Emmett Fox. Here's what he talks about. Listen to these words. I'm saying these words over you, and this is where you're heading. He says, as soon as you obtain the spiritual consciousness, you will find that all things indeed work together for good for those who love good or God, you. You will experience perfect health, abundant prosperity, complete and utter happiness. Your health will be so good that mere living will be in itself an inexpressible joy. The body, no longer the burden to be dragged about that so many people find it, will be as though it were shod with winged shoes. Your prosperity will be such that you need not take the question of finance into consideration at all. You will always have all the supply that you need to carry out any of your plans. The world will turn out to be full of charming people only too anxious to help you in every way. Others will come into your life only for good. You will find yourself occupied with the most delightful and interesting activities of the most widely and useful kind. All your energy and all of your faculties will find full scope for their expression and in short, you will develop the completely integrated and fully expressed personality of which modern psychology dreams. 
<clears throat> Those who have not glimpsed the secret of the Christ message, I'm speaking of the Christ as the infinite state of consciousness within us, may look upon all of this as nothing but a beautiful vision, too good to be true. But it is just the message of the Christ message that nothing is too good to be true because the love and the power of God is true. It is just this very belief that complete harmony is too good to be true that really prevents our getting it. We as mental beings make the laws under which we live and we have to live under the laws that we make. So oftentimes what's necessary is we have to be reminded of this. My job on this planet, my troop, my true place, my true place is to remind others the of true place. You are a genius. I am a genius. We're all geniuses in absolutely unique ways. Now, spiders, when they spin a spider web, they do spider in a genius fashion. Roses do roses in a collective genius fashion. We're different. We're individuals. Our genius is individual, unique, one of a kind, and absolutely original. And because it is, it's harder to find. It takes longer. It takes trial by fire. It takes coal and carbon being crushed under unbelievable weight for a very long time to make a diamond. But you're a diamond and you will shine like this. But it's important to remember that you are a genius. Appearances may seem to be to the contrary when we're living through our constraint, constriction, limitation. But you are a creation of this universe. You're a spiritual genius. You will find, you will live in true place. And it's going to be great, but it's also true that until you do agree with that, until you come into alignment with it, we're always going to feel unfitted. We're going to feel like we're wearing underwear that's way too tight. We're going to feel like we're not in the right place, that there's something missing, that there's a hole in our soul that can only be filled by something greater. That's your true place calling. That's your spiritual genius saying, come up higher and don't accept constraint or limitation anymore, and instead agree with the universe who you are. So we'll chat about this tomorrow. It's been an interesting topic. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you.